Good evening. It's Tuesday, December 10th, 2013. Thanks for joining me for another Teton weather webcast. Sorry it's been so long since the last one. I needed to get out of the state and thaw out a little bit <laughs> because those temperatures were quite brutal, especially for this time of year. Usually we don't receive temperatures in the minus double digits until late January, early February, such as the case last year. But this year we're getting a head start, and uh, for some of us it's it's a little brutal. So let's take a look at these temperatures from this weekend into early this week. 14 is a high temperature on Saturday, but look how the temperatures just plummeted from uh, Sunday into Monday, 5 and 8. Low temperatures, minus 17, minus 27, and you can see today we're definitely making the, the warming uh, process a reality with low temperatures so far only making it down to 8, uh, but high temperatures into the mid-teens, so that's good news. And we'll slowly warm up from here. You're going to notice a huge difference even into tomorrow as temperatures will warm perhaps another 10 degrees. Now let's take a look at this interesting statistic. This is a graph describing the departure from normal temperatures between December 3rd to December 9th. You can see that Montana has had the biggest departure from normal, having anywhere between 20 to 25 degree uh, differences in normal temperature. Eastern Idaho between 15 to 20 degrees below normal. And on the East Coast, in fact, a good third of the nation was anywhere between 5 to perhaps 15 degrees above normal. So certainly a, a different story depending on where you were in the country, but overall, most of the country has been experiencing a pretty cold start uh, to December and a cold end to the autumn season. Remember, we're not even into winter yet, and we're already seeing these temperatures. I shudder to think what mid to late December, even into early January, will offer us. And then here's a, a snowfall map, kind of explaining what's going to happen uh, by the end of this upcoming weekend. This is to illustrate that we're not really going to be seeing a whole lot in the way of snow over the next several days, maybe two to four inches, but the weather pattern is going to quiet down from here. I don't think I'm going to hear too many complaints, especially after this past week, um, but just, just so you know, it's, it's not going to be too dicey over the next uh, several days, so that's the good news. So let's go into the forecast for tonight. Mostly uh, clear skies, partly clear skies rather, with some light snow showers, not a whole lot of accumulation, but you'll notice the flurries out there. Temperatures will be between 0 and minus 3 in Victor. Mostly sunny skies for your Wednesday with temperatures in the low to mid-20s. Again, warming quite a bit, especially compared to today. And then here is your 7-day forecast. You'll notice even warmer temperatures. 28 perhaps by Thursday, then light snow showers Friday through Tuesday with partly to mostly cloudy skies and temperatures ultimately reaching near 30 degrees by the beginning of next week. Low temperatures though will still stay pretty chilly in the upper single digits to lower teens. There are sig signals and signs that the long range forecast closer to Christmas could put us back into the icebox. I'm not willing to go too far into those details yet, but just be warned that we may not be completely done with the cold and snow uh, as far as long-term is concerned, but the short-term looks pretty good from here. Remember, you can stay tuned to weather updates at tetonvalleynews.net slash weatherblog and also on the Teton Valley Weather Facebook page. Have a good evening.